All right, hey guys, I'm Rubber CCG back in the video. With this, we're gonna be going over the new Valmonica archetype. So, this is the second archetype of the VVS. The first archetype being Memento. If you guys want to see me cover Memento, it's gonna be in the top right corner. So, let's get started. So, this is a level four pendulum monster. While you have a fiend monster card in your under pendulum zone, each time you gain life points, place one resonance card. Uh, counter on this card so it seems there's going to be a good amount of significance played on gaining life points i do see that this is a fairy monster while it requires a fairy and a fiend because of this other effect or because of this effect here once we return when an opponent's monster declares an attack you can immediately after this effect resolves link summon one valmonica monster so it's going to rely on your on your opponent having to declare an attack being able to link summon using this could be interesting depending on what the link monster's effect is. If this card is in your hand, you can discard one other card, place this card and one demo in Veronica from your deck in your pendulum zone. So being able to use this card to get out the other one seems pretty decent. And uh, it looks like they definitely require you to have each other each other one just because of these, this effect here, which I'm guessing it's going to be similar with the other one. And then during the main phase of this card was normal or special summon this turn, you can banish one Valmonica normal spell trap from your grave. This effect becomes that card's life point gain effect when, this, when that card is activated. So again, it gives you a way of uh, gaining life points, which is relevant for your actual pendulum effect here. So that's interesting. I'm guessing that the Fiend Monster might require you to lose life points, but we'll see. Uh, here, it's a pendulum. So this is Demon Val Valmonica. So you can see this is the foil to the Angelo Valmonica. Oh, you have a fairy monster in your other pendulum zone. Each time you take effect damage, you place one resonance counter on this card. So instead of gaining and so it looks like you're going to be taking effect damage instead of necessarily losing life points. So I'm curious how different that's going to be just because you're not actually going to gain benefits from using cards that require you to lose life points. But instead, you're going to have to take effect damage. Monsters your opponent controls lose 100 attack for each resonance counter on cards you control. So again, these cards are building up resonance counters, but just from different ways. And if this card is in your hand, you can discard one other card. Place this card in one Angelo Valmonica from your deck in your Pendulum Zone. So again, being able to search each other out, that's always good to see. During the main phase, if this, if this card was normal or special summon this turn, you can banish one Valmonica normal spell trap from your grave. This effect becomes that card's damage inflicting, inflicting effect when that card is activated. So the same way as this card gains the effect, the life points, this card is able to help you uh, use the effect damage in its own way. Okay, so here we can see the actual Link monster. So it looks to be a Link 1 Dark Fairy effect monster with 2500 attack. Its name is Odd Deity of Valmonica, Gurami. It cannot be Link Summoned unless you have a Fairy Monster card with 3 or more resonance counters in your Pendulum Zone. So you're going to have to build that up by gaining some life points. You can only special summon the Odd Deity of Valmonica Gurama once per turn. Then if this card is Link Summoned, you can target monsters your opponent controls up to a number of resonance counters on cards in your Pendulum Zone. Destroy it. So, of course, if you're going to be able to Link Summon during your opponent's turn, this gives you a good way of actually popping a lot of cards. So that could be pretty effective. Of course, you're going to have to wait for till the battle phase in order for you to do that. Or you can remove three resident counters from this card in your pendulum zone. This card can make it a second and third attack during each battle phase this turn. With 2500 attack, that could be reasonable and uh, can be possible. you can possibly finish them with that. And here we have the other Link 1, which is Divine Oddity of Vamonica Febu Ferrer. And this, I'm guessing, is going to be the foil to this monster here. And uh, I guess we'll see. So it cannot be Link Summon unless you have a Fiend Monster card with three or more resonance counters in your Pendulum Zone. So same thing as the other one, but with the Fiend Monster. And if this card would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can remove three resonant counters from cards in your Pendulum Zone instead. So it's a good way to protect it. And then once per opponent's turn, quick effect, you can target one of your Valmonica normal spells or trap that is banished or in your grave. This effect becomes that card's effect when that card is activated. So we're going to have to see what these actual effects are being able to activate one of their effects during your opponent's turn. That could be potentially good. It just depends on those spells or traps. So here we have the field spell, which is called Angelic Demonic Selector Valmonica. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. You can only use a second effect of this card's name once per turn. When this card resolves, you can add one Valmonica monster from your deck to your hand. So always good to see that a field spell that's able to search out one of its monsters. That's great. As we saw, the Fiend or the uh, Fairy Monster is actually able to search out the other. So that sets you up pretty quickly. And if the third Residence Counter is placed on a card in your Pendulum Zone, you can target one monster your opponent control, take control of it until the end phase, but it cannot declare an attack. You're just going to be using this in order to take it, possibly link it away, uh, exceed with it. It depends on what the other support is going to look like, but you're just going to be using it for that. 
uh, at least its effects aren't negated and this way of taking it is just target only um, of course when usually with taking control it, it is usually only target but uh, it, at least at least there's that um, it's not too bad as long as your opponent doesn't have a way to negate it as target protection and then here we have Valmonica versus Versair. It's a normal spell card. Apply one of these effects, your opponent's choice, if you do not have a Valmonica card, a Valmonica card in your Pendulum Zone. You gain 500 life points, and you can excavate cards from the top of your deck until you excavate a Valmonica card. And if you do, add it to your hand. Also shuffle the rest into your deck. Take 500 damage, then you can send one Valmonica card from your deck to your grave. Of course, you're going to want to have the choice here by get, having the Valmonica, Valmonica card. But if you don't, then at least you're going to be able to utilize it, even if your opponent gets to choose the effect here. But both of these effects seems pretty good, and it also build up your counters, depending on which effect you use here. But being able to search out, not search out, but ex excavate a Monica card, so long as you, you have a good chance of getting the monster out here, so that seems like pretty decent. And uh, being able to pitch a Monica card can be powerful as well. We just have to see what they what their graveyard effects are going to be. Okay, so this is the other spell. This is Valmonica Intonaire. Apply one of these effects to your opponent's choice if you don't have if you do not have a Valmonica card in your pendulum zone. So same thing as the other one. You gain 500 life points and your opponent chooses one monster in your grave that can be special summoned if any for you to special summon it. So it's a monster reborn that your opponent gets to choose for. Um, there's going to be some ways for you to manipulate it, but just by, just by reducing what's actually in your grave, but that could be decent. Or taking 500 damage, then you can add one level 4 monster from your grave to your hand. Of course, if you're able to get something like your pendulum monster that happened to be sent there because you linked away, instead of it being properly destroyed, then that could be great as well. And then here we have Valmonica of the Guiding uh, Rhythm. If you control a Valmonica monster card, apply one of these effects. Or if you control a Valmonica link monster, you can apply both in sequence. So you can gain 500 life points, then you can destroy one spell trap on the field. Take 500 damage, then you can return one monster to the field to the hand. So it doesn't seem too powerful, but at best case scenario, you're able to pop a spell a trap and then bounce something. So that could be pretty fun. I mean, it is basically that. It's like an MST and a compulsory device all in one, and you're not really going to be gaining or, any, or losing anything. And that's good, while also boosting up your your fiend and your very Valmonica monster by giving them the counters. So that could be pretty fun. And the final card that we can see is the Valmonica of the Selecting Melody. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. If you control a Valmonica monster card, apply one of these effects. Or if you control a Valmonica link monster, you can apply both in sequence. So you can gain 500 life points. Also, your opponent cannot target Valmonica monster cards you control with card effects for the rest of the turn. That's a good amount of protection. Well, and uh, take 500 damage, then you can negate the effects of one effect monster your opponent controls until the end of this turn. So being able to protect them while also giving it, essentially serving as an imperm while stacking up two counters, that seems pretty good. Honestly, like, the archetype seems, it seems okay, it's not overly powerful, but I think it has a fun gimmick to it of actually taking effect damage while gaining life points and although we've seen this done before, I think it's interesting that it's not necessarily correlated to losing life points but through effect damage specifically so that's cool to see i'm curious how this deck is gonna work i i am totally down to uh, test this deck out if you guys want to see that as i am interested in this whole uh the three archetypes that come out of DB, uh, dbvs here but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe again if you guys want to see me cover the memento archetype it's gonna be in the top right corner and let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys next time for watching